Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Cosme, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to have animated Sky and Blender. That being said, let's jump right into the video. All right, so today's video is going to be pretty quick, pretty simple, and straightforward. First thing you want to do is you want to go to polyhaven.com to be in the uh, description down below i'm gonna leave you guys a link just go there and on the search bar type in sky and you're gonna find yourself with a whole bunch of different um hdri with just the sky so you can see clouds you can have a clean one or you can have some with clouds in this in this case i already have one downloaded so i'm not gonna download another one and i believe it's this one that i got going on here so we're gonna go ahead and open up blender really quick so once you're in blender you want to go ahead and delete the defaults um and what we're gonna do pretty quick is we're gonna go into render view we're gonna make sure we have the uh cycles selected gpu selected as well and um over here you want to click on this yellow dot you want to go to environment texture you want to open up and go to your download to wherever you download downloaded that hdri um and open open it up so here i got mine as you can see we got the clouds i believe i did not download it the best resolution so for for you know for better um output or outcome uh you want to go ahead and make sure to download the uh, 16k if you want the best resolution possible um but that being said here it's how we go ahead and animate this um hdri so the way i do this is i go to shading and um in shading i switch from object to world Make sure you go to the render view so you can see what we're doing here and down um, here you got to make sure you have your node wrangler add-on turned on to do that you want to go edit preferences and over here just say search up node wrangler and make sure this is selected if it's not select that um and you can go ahead and and just um save preferences and exit out exit out so once you're here you go back into the hdri which is this one right here sunflower Gureski and you want to go ahead and control T and it's going to open up this it's going to set up this mapping and texture curtain coordinate and um, once you have this pretty much what you do is if you rotate on the Z as you can see the um, HDRI is just basically rotating so if you rotate by 360 um, it's going to go ahead and do a loop um, seamlessly and it's just going to keep doing that so you can either do that or you could go ahead and if let's say let's op let's go ahead and bring up our timeline right here so if you can bring up the timeline and just so that you can have a better visual of it let's add a quick monkey go by eight um control two to add a subdivision modifier to it really quick right click shade smooth and um so basically of course an hdri lights up your scene so if you're rotating that hdri so you can see the light in your scene it's also going to be animated and it's going to affect your models um differently so i think this is pretty cool so the way i would do this and i use this a lot in my um landscape animations i add this quick trick to it because it's super easy and simple so basically you just go ahead and um i to insert a keyframe on the z rotation uh while you're on frame number one and let's say you do you'll do 250 250 frames or you just want to do 150 you go to the end of your timeline which is 150 on this case and if you go ahead and type in 360 um it's just gonna go ahead and do what you're probably expecting for it to do it's gonna rotate on the add an insert the um e frame now it's inserted so as you can see it's just gonna pretty much go ahead and rotate now this does not look realistic at all um i think the best way to get a realistic um animation is to probably do about 100 degree uh degrees and then insert it and that way because in reality yeah you, even that wouldn't work so let me go back over here delete these keyframes and let's maybe do 10 and insert it because the thing is in real life you can see the sky move but it's very like you can see the clouds move but it's very 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 slowly so even 10 doesn't do it so again I, I didn't i didn't i didn't play around with this before doing the video but i know for a fact that the lower you go the more real it'll look but again if you don't care about total realism and you actually want to show your viewers 
the effect that it that it does on on the model and how the, the the lighting changes and the shadows and the highlights then you go ahead and do you go ahead and do maybe a hundred and insert it and you'll get a feel of it and this looks super dope super cool and let's say you're gonna do you don't want the background to be shown but you do want to show that light effect you can go to film and click on transparent so now you'll see that light effect happening the shading the, the highlights changing and whatnot it's position but there's no background and i think this is pretty cool simple it's, it's so i think this is pretty essential to know it's pretty cool to add you know in some of your renders whenever you think it's gonna be it, it fits perfect on your on your um renders but anyways that being said if you guys did enjoy the video please make sure to drop a like down below comment what you want to see next subscribe if you're new to the channel and i'll see you on the next one deuces